Okay, YouTube, so before I get to the unboxing, first I'm going to start with the package difference because I've noticed there's a huge difference between the 2016 package and the this year um, uh, 2017 upcoming package. So if you're able to take a look that um, uh, each package with each truck has Monster Jam 25 and everything, 1992 to 2007 because it is supposed to be Monster Jam's... Um, uh, 25th year, so that's really cool how it's got the uh, new Monster Jam logo while on the 2016 package they still have the um, uh, old uh, Monster Jam um, uh, packaging and also there is supposed to be a difference between the the yearly packages from underneath so we'll start here with the um, uh, Wrecking Group package underneath you can see it's got the old Monster Jam symbol saying over there um, uh, Official Monster Truck Series only at Monster Gym, not for use with other Hot Wheels sets. You can see it's also got the Warner Brothers and Mattel symbol and the new um, uh, Recycle symbol and everything. And all the um, uh, advertisements and stuff over there. Looking here at the bottom of the package on El Toro Loco, it's got... No Warner Brother um, uh, packets and everything, so underneath these packets is usually detailed, but all we get underneath the packaging is just the um, uh, new Monster Jam symbol with um, uh, number 25, because this upcoming 2017, it's supposed to be like Monster Jam's um, uh, 25th anniversary from 1992 to 2017, so congratulations, 25 years of Monster Jam, man. I've also been informed, sadly, there's going to be no Gravedigger 30th and 35th anniversary logo and everything. But according to the back of this, we're supposed to have about four different series of this here. Starting with Gravedigger, this is going to be known as the um, uh, Tour Favorites. And also starting off th with um, uh, Son of a Digger and Mohawk Warrior, there's going to be a Chrome series, which we Hot Wheels callers call it Zamac. And Jester is going to start with the X-Ray series. And plus, we're going to get a flashback series, starting with that Hot Wheels look. And El Toro Loco Yellow, along with Predator, is going to be known as Creature series. And Soldier Fortune is known as Epic Editions, or stuff like that. So, we're going to get to the unboxing. And there's supposed to be a few differences between this Gravedigger and the Gravedigger that we got last year. So... We're going to review everything, like, right over here on the lid of where I usually keep all my trucks. So, I find it a very good solid surface. So, if you're able to look very closely here at last year or 2016 one, if you look closely over there, it's got the old Monster Jam symbol. And there's supposed to be a change made to the um, uh, tires and everything. So, I'll show you once I get Gravedigger out. So... We already know that um uh, that 2016 came out with the um, uh, stunt ramp series, but for 2017 there's gonna be like a flag attachment series. So I think that's pretty impressive. So for the review of everything, we'll start off here with Grave Digger. So I think there's definitely an easier way to um uh, put the um uh, flag here on the back of Grave Digger, but. I might have to have the use of, like, two hands. Or maybe I can do it with one hand as Gravedigger's rolling away. You gotta put it in just like that, and boom, you see? You got the flag on Gravedigger, so doesn't it look neat like that? And I think that's the coolest um, uh, accessory they got to a um, uh, Gravedigger. So, take a very close look at the two. You can definitely see that um, uh, this new Gravedigger that I got for 2017 has... BKT tires all over it, and looking very closely, that one's got the uh, new um, uh, Monster Jam symbol. This one's only got the old Monster Jam symbol, but no BKT tires on it and everything. But other than that, the tops are definitely just about the same, where they say four-time champion and bad to the bone and everything. Just throughout different years, they look different. So this, since this is a 2017 truck, this is a New Monster Jam symbol with BKT tires and old Monster Jam symbol with no BKT tires and everything. So that's the um, uh, Grave Digger difference that you got to see there. So what do you say I move on to the yellow El Toro Loco next? 
Okay, so for the next portion of the reviews, we're I'm uh, going to have all the trucks out of the box. So here's um, uh, the 2017 uh, yellow El Toro Loco already uh, out of the box. And as I've definitely mentioned inside, when you saw it from inside the box, you can see that the um, uh, flames and everything are a little bit purple off of the um, uh, edges of the flames. Kind of looks a lot like Becky and um, uh, Kayla Blood's um, uh, El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm. And here's the El Toro Loco that would carry on from 2014 to 2016. And as you're able to look closely over here, that's where you'll find that gold tooth and everything. And that's been an El Toro Loco for years. But even though this kind of thing started off with El Toro Loco in 2016 like that, you'll definitely notice a lot like my orange El Toro Loco, which I still have in the box right about over there next to El Diablo, that you'll notice that there's no gold tooth on this one. So it seems like from last year to this year's seven, 2017 El Toro Logos that they've decided to not have the um, uh, golden tooth anymore. Now we're looking at the backs of these two. So as you can see on the back, there's like less flames and everything, but everything on the back is having a lot more flames as you can see with the um uh, el toro loco and everything on the back so i'm really impressed with that so really really enjoyable okay what do you say we move on to the black el toro loco okay i think i definitely should have a little better focusing this time so here are the black el toro loco so since this is still a 2016 el toro loco black you can also see it still has the old um uh, Monster Jam logo on it, as well as this one that was purchased back in 2014. Except I believe the same opponent complies throughout this year going into next year. How you can see this one I got back in 2014 still has the golden tooth, but this one most certainly does not have the golden tooth at all. So that's the only difference I find with that um, uh, black El Toro loco. But let's take a look at the back and see if there's anything a little different in the back as well. I don't see anything different about the back, do you fans? And since this is still a 2016 truck and everything, yeah, there's definitely no BKT tires on it. Not like the other two that I got from the um, uh, Flag Attachment series. Like you see, Gravedigger here has the um, uh, BKT tires on it. But the 2016 one doesn't, so that's all I can say. So, this is a 2014 Black El Toro Loco, and this is a 2016 one. So, there you have it. So, we're going to move on to Wrecking Crew last, which I don't think there's that much for me to review. I'm just going to crack him out of the box for right from the bottom. Because I decided to pick him up, because it seemed like at Target, Wrecking Crew was getting really popular for everyone to take off the pegs like that. This new package detail is really, really tightly detailed. All right, and so here he is. And no, that's not um, uh, his ramp. That's El Toro Loco's ramp. This is a uh, Wrecking Crew's ramp. It's the green one with the um, uh, crushable car and everything. So that's um, our Wrecking Crew for this year. I also do have a Wrecking Crew in here, but I think that one was supposed to be known as Spectre Flames, but it's hard for me to find out where I've got Team Scream in here. Really, really hard to find out, but other than that, really okay. So that's my um, uh, official Monster Jam haul and everything. So 2016 Wrecking Crew. This is a 2016 El Toro Loco. 2017 or 2016 Yellow Toro Loco. That's a 2016 um, uh, Grave Digger, so you don't count. But Flag Attachment Series 1 definitely does, so there you got it. That's my official Target haul, so really, really hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, and as Race Grooves would say, have fun with your trucks. This is Pinchio Wait, signing and pinching out.